Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. And I'm sure, as most of you know by now, um, the former first lady, Rosalind Carter, passed away at uh, today, earlier today, at the age of 96 years old. And I guess out of all the first ladies that I can remember, um, I would have to say she was simply the best. I believe because she was not college educated, but people educated, um, she did her best to promote peace under the constructs of what she was working with and who she was. I also think that her and Jimmy Carter was probably the most, you know, realist president and first lady that there was. They seemed touchable, accessible. And not only that, I um I personally judge and this might sound sick to a lot of y'all but I kind of like judge first ladies or people when they go abroad and and I kind of judge how they react to black bodies. And that further lets me know all I need to know about who you are. When you hold a black baby and you really, y'all know how it is when you hold somebody and you really, it's like, don't touch me. Ooh, please don't slob on me or please don't. Uh, you, you can see it all in the body language. And you can also see when someone is genuine. And they really like, if you like babies, you like babies. It really doesn't matter what color they are. And when I see somebody like that, that warms my heart. It warms my spirit. And I've only seen two. Diana Spencer and Rosalind Carter, who, again, I give my condolences to the family of her making her transition today at 96 years old. I also appreciate and I thank her for all the work that she has done in the awareness and the field of mental health. Um, it 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 made her real, in a lot of our opinion. I know a lot of y'all was on Betty Ford too, because you know a lot of y'all was drinking a lot, and Betty Ford kind of helped you put that uh, in a normal space, but. <laughs> she probably was so drunk sometimes. She probably, you know, didn't even, her best personality didn't show up. No, okay, with all due respect, I should have <laughs> Forgive me, y'all. Forgive me. Um, but her, her, Rosalind I'm talking about. Ro- Rosalind, Rosalind, Rosalind is what it was. Rosalind Carter. The mental health work that she's done. And then you got the Habitat for Humanity, which is all over. Which I know a few people who are homeowners because of the program. That was something that was touchable. Something that you could see. Something that was tangible. And I think that anytime you have someone in that space that care about the people like that, those are the people that should be celebrated. I can't believe what politics is now because here you have a whole party that never talks about the issues at all. All they do is talk about what's wrong. I've never seen this before in all my life. I've never seen a party that never had any ideas, no politics. No policies. The only thing is tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down. And so, and and I don't mean that in a way 
that it needs to be torn down because I do believe that the system should be torn down and replaced with a system of justice. But that's not what I mean. When I hear Roseanne Barr saying, Beat that damn bull! That type of craziness. Okay. I'm so far removed from what candidate are looking like today. And Rosalind Carter was the epitome of class, in my opinion. And them being peanut farmers maybe had something to do with it. Um, being surrounded by black folk, whether they work for them or whether they ate with them. It has something to do with your demeanor and how you see the world. So, again, I want to give my condolences. My heart goes out to that family. And I want to thank you, Rosalind, for a job well done. You represented the first lady position to the fullest. And with that being said, um, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.